Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to uh, part two for February 2022. This is your monthly reading. You know, um, this is part one. If you haven't watched it yet, there will be a link to part one down below. I really, you know, kind of, at, at, when I ended that reading, which I just did like a few seconds ago, I really feel this reading is talking about you becoming royalty. It, and, you know, it's, um, I think in one of your recent readings, I said something about how it's almost like, you are preordained to do something. I think I was looking for, it's, I don't, I don't know if like you're destined to do something is the right word, the right word, but it's like sometimes, I think some of us are like anointed. It's like we come to earth, you know, with this purpose. And if there was ever a sign, it would be Pisces, definitely, um, you know, coming with like some sort of, you know, bigger um, purpose. And I kind of feel that's what this reading is talking about. There's like a certain element of, I don't know, royalty <laughs> coming up here. We're going to have to look into this and see. Uh, how am I going to do this? Uh, I'm just going to pull extra cards here, and uh, why not? In the, your first row, are you kidding me? You have the Jupiter card. I'm going to put these on the right-hand side of the reading. Um, but, you know, the Jupiter card, clearly, again, uh, right now, February, is really when you're going to start benefiting from the Jupiter energy. I've said this to you like a million times because just in, I don't know, I just see it in the astrology. We get past the retrogrades you know, in the middle of February, uh, you know, really the Mercury retrograde is over on the 3rd, and I think you will notice improvements right away, but, you know, really it takes till like the middle of February before I think Pisces really experience these experiences, these um, kind of things. Also, purple color on that Jupiter card, and I'm putting them in the row over here, so it's kind of like tied in to that royalty type energy. I think I'm going to clarify the top cards as well. So with that staff, you have the V. V for victory, it says. <laughs> so clearly a victory coming in for you, especially with that Ace of Swords as well. There is like this element of kind of like releasing, I feel. It's almost like you're releasing your need for the like knowledge of the outcome. Those are the words that I'm getting. So for some of you, I feel like the victory is the fact that it's like you're just letting go of the outcome of pretty much anything that you're starting. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, you have the Ace of Pet. Pentacles, I'm sorry, the Nine of Swords, I meant to say. You have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles, the, there's like this path here, and that is the path to like the garden, kind of represents the Garden of Eden. And it's interesting that you have the apple here, which has temptation on it. It's like the two things are kind of connected, right? You know, this kind of represents, is traditionally meant to represent the Garden of Eden. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is kind of like saying that there is a good opportunity coming in for you. Really, I feel like the apple, like I said for you in the first reading, is taking the easy way out, you know, doing something that is easy. Uh, I would definitely encourage you to do something that is hard. Why? Because uh, the victory is going to be so, like so sweet. Um, you know, I think it's just going to be great for you, and it's going to feel so good. I always encourage people to do what is hard. It's not sexy. I, you know, I get it. You know, for the most part, and you know, like I've said a million times, I've done what is easy in my life, and then I've done what is hard and like harder. It sucks, but the victory is so much more worth it. It feels so much better. You've earned something as well. So I'll always encourage people to take the, you know, the the you know harder victory. I don't think it's really harder, but I think it just requires work. With the three of wands, you have the world. Uh, definitely an accomplishment coming in for you. The world just can represent like a goal, wish, or dream accomplishment. Uh, with the three of wands here, it definitely could represent travel. Um, really doesn't surprise me. You know, the world starting to open back up. I feel like the world is going to start opening back up. I actually think things are going to be a little bit crazy for a while. We, I mean, we got a couple of years of craziness going on here. Is that a bad thing? Probably not, because I think there's going to be a lot of good opportunity, you know, if you can keep your head on straight. <laughs> so pay attention to what's going on around you and ignore the news, as I've been telling people. It's like the stuff on the news and all that stuff, you know, it's going to get weird. So, you know, I don't want to, I can't talk too much about it on YouTube, of course, but, you know, I would just keep your head on straight is what I will say. And just realize that, you know, what you're seeing and all this other stuff might be the truth, might not be the truth, right? And But you're going to be fine. That's what you need to know. Uh, with the world, again, I feel that having a chief aim, you know, there is a book, I think it is called the One Chief Aim or something like that. Uh, it And I feel like having a chief aim, having a, having a purpose for your life is a good idea. And so, like, what does that mean? Uh, I think it's hard to, to know what your purpose is. I think, p part of me, I blame the New Age community because the New Age community is like, oh, everybody has a purpose. So it makes it seem like there's this specific purpose. Your purpose can be whatever you want. You're here to create your own reality, uh, at least I believe, right? And, um, you know, so that's why I encourage people to do whatever they want. But, you know, I always tell people it's like, a purpose is like a why you're doing something. It's like, for, for me, my major focus uh, starting in February is gonna be my new channel. I'm still gonna be doing this channel, don't worry. Um, but, um, 
you know, I'm a workhorse, don't worry, I will still be cranking out videos on this channel, right? But my purpose on that channel is to help people make their own dent in the universe. It's like something that I really wanna focus on and it's something that I wanna put out into the world. So it's like, what is your thing? And there's like a million things that go into that that I can talk about on that channel, right? So I feel like this world is like saying, what is your one thing? You know, it could be maybe you wanna make the world taste better. So maybe you start cooking more. I don't know, it doesn't matter, right? But what I would say is I would start putting the work to figure out what it is. But it could be something like that. It's like, you know, I would try to come up with like some sort of mantra this year if I were you Pisces. Like I wanna make the world taste better. I wanna make whatever, you know, bring more happiness in. So then your focus should be happiness and doing things that make, you know, you happy, people happy, whatever. Uh, with the Fool, you have the Two of Pentacles juggling. Again, I feel like you need to take a leap of faith. You already know the answer to this victory here, Pisces. Look, luck is on your side. You have the horseshoe here in this bottom row. It really says that like luck is on your side. I really feel the universe is on your side. So it's like, what are you waiting for type of energy? Uh, with the apple here, you have the horse. You have the horse and the horseshoe. And this says a short journey. So if you are going on a short journey, I do feel like there is a lot of luck and abundance on that journey. I feel like there is just good things. So you, know, you have the horse and the horseshoe. Like I said, I feel like those two things are connected. Uh, with the seven of pentacles, you have the queen of cups. Trust your intuition. I feel like you're starting to do this. It wouldn't surprise me actually if you stopped watching tarot videos, which I recommend everybody does, right? I, I do this for a living basically. Um, and uh, I tell people all the time, stop watching tarot, right? <laughs> because you know, to me, it's like you should be making your own decisions. I do this because I love it. And I do feel like you know, advice is helpful to people. I definitely needed uh, tarot at certain points in my life, right? So um, you know, I, that's why I do this, um, even though I encourage people to make their own decisions, right? Um, so it wouldn't surprise me if some of you stopped watching tarot. It wouldn't surprise me if some of you started making decisions from your own like center. I forgot to pull a second card here. Uh, you have the deer spirit. It says power. Definitely, I feel you are gaining power. And look, she has these big antlers. Antlers represent like tuning into the universe and you know being able to tap into the universal energies and all that other good stuff, Pisces. So uh, definitely like that. Uh, with the seven of cups, you have the empress. Damn. Uh, definitely royal energy. Again, I was I said in your first reading, uh, or I, I kind of got that feeling at the end that your first reading, and I think I titled it, and I'm going to title it, um, Becoming Royalty, I have it right here. Um, and, you know, I feel like that's what's going on here is like you're stepping into your true power, um, be, becoming very empowered at this time as well. Um, like I said, it's an amazing year for you. It just doesn't surprise me, Pisces. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, you have the Page of Wands. Go on the adventure. <laughs> If you're like thinking about traveling, if you're thinking about going on any type of adventure, the adventure could be in your mind, you could be thinking about something, right? You could be wanting to study something new, you could be wanting to explore new ideas, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Uh, I feel like the it's going to be a victory, whatever this adventure is. Uh, with that ink pot card, you have this skull. It says hidden secrets can harm you. I, yeah, I would just like, number one, no secrets with people is what I would say to you. I would also be careful of, um, you know, I just wouldn't like hide anything at this time. I would be careful of talking behind people's back as well with that card. Let's see what the next card is. You have hills. It says obstacles to overcome. We talked about this in the first reading. I feel like this is saying don't allow like the little things to hold you back either. It's like, I'm a Pisces. I totally get it. It's like years ago when I was struggling, it's like the tiniest little thing would ruin my day. I feel like this is saying don't make mountains out of molehills basically. Uh, let's look into it. Uh, actually, we're going to pull another card for the bottom here. You have the Virgo card. It says digest. So it might be time. Seven of Pentacles is like tied to Virgo and same with the this Virgo card, obviously. So I feel like it's a good time to kind of like digest things. And But what I feel like you're digesting it is more like the first half of the month, the first half of February before your birthday. Um, I think you're kind of like looking at things and saying, is this worth it? Is it not worth it? And I would just take your time actually with that card. And I would just say, but I feel like that secrets card is like holding secrets in for like about yourself, but into in yourself is how I'm seeing those secrets. Because it's like, if you're not living your truth, Empress, then you're blocking Empress energy. And that's what it's asking you to overcome. And I feel like the hills, the mountains, the, the little tiny hills that are on there are just saying, it's like, yes, maybe you're not living your truth right now. There's something that you're not doing, which is fine. Um, in the hills, it's like those will be easy to overcome. So it's like, don't make mountains out of molehills. With the lovers, you have the seven of wands. Seven of wands is a card of conviction. It's like my card of like knowing that you know that something is for you. So uh, I, I feel like the more certain of yourself you can be, the better with the seven of wands. It's like, 
if we, you know, when there is no other way, the only way is success, as I always say. It's kind of like an interesting um, concept to grasp. I think it is hard for people to grasp as well. Even I mean, it was for me, but it's like a lot of successful people, they have no plan B, you know, because it distracts from plan A. <laughs> so I, f- I feel like seven of wands is plan A and that's it. Uh, With the King of Wands, you have the Three of Wands again. It's definitely time for you to take some sort of leap of faith right here in this middle row. Uh, It could have to, it could be connected to the December time frame. Wouldn't really surprise me, Pisces. Jupiter, you know, will be going into Aries in May. And then around like October or something, it retrogrades back into Pisces. And um, then, you know, really kind of starts moving forward back into Aries in December. Wouldn't surprise me if something uh, came up for you in December, if you made a change in December. If you're looking for love, um, you know, this year is really good for love for Pisces, but also December, (laughs) there's like a lot of things going on um, that kind of lead me to believe that there could be um, a relationship coming in around that time for you, Pisces, December. Again, I'm not suggesting you wait or anything like that if you meet a person right now. Again, tarot doesn't control your life. Um, But what I would say is it wouldn't surprise me if you met someone important. I know that's a long time away but it's really not. It'll be here before you know it. Uh, With the devil, you have the sun. Are you kidding me? Move towards your happiness here, Pisces. Uh, That's a very good reading. Definitely glow up energy uh, in this row right here, in this diagonal. And so I feel like there's a lot of happiness, but I would be careful of anything that is like causing any problems or in your life or, um, you know, a lot of you could be focused on your health at this time um, as well, especially with that devil energy. But I would be careful of any, you know, addictions or anything like that. It doesn't even have to be, you know, I'm not saying drugs or anything. It could just be watching too much Netflix. It could be, um, you know, anything. <laughs> I don't know, eating too many Teddy Grahams. It's like, today I feel terrible. <laughs> Why? Because I ate Teddy Grahams last night. And I, I know it sounds crazy, but I've been eating pretty clean. And it's like, if I eat wheat, it like, destroy, it just destroys my system. Them. And there, there you go. A, a notification just told me that's the truth, right? So, uh, you know, Pisces, this is amazing. I love it. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Again, part one is linked up down below as well. So uh, thank you for being here, Pisces, and definitely enjoy your week.